Hey everyone, this is Al from Club Dora. We're at the North Star Expo in Grand Rapids today. Boy, I tell you, these guys can, these guys won the, the best load stacked and so forth. I don't know how many people were in competition, but uh, they sure look, uh, sure look great. Here's uh, some, some equipment that uh, we were kind of looking at. Um, just looking at these, there's no way you can you can buy something like this, or at least I don't, I can't buy something like that. Um, nice skid steers, though. Now we're down by. Uh, Hammerhead or their new uh, their new saw that they had out was Han. Um, and we'll get back to that here in a second. Would have liked to have seen this machine run. It would have been kind of fun. See what the capacity of that one is. I guess you could rent it. Here I'm talking to Kelly from Hammerhead. We were looking at the wood. They must have got one log of maple that came through. That's what we were looking at there. And this is their brand new machine. Uh, this is the first one that they put out. Uh, Dan from uh, Back 40 had these guys over and they ran this machine over at his place. Um, they're hoping they can get it into production by eh, sometime probably late November to the first of the year. They got some bugs to work out of it yet, but um, all in all, it doesn't look like a bad uh, entry level uh, processor. He's splitting up mostly, uh, mostly uh, white oak, and boy, this was some really gnarly stuff. Um, the logs were small and had a lot of knots and stuff in it. As you watch here, he he's struggling with them popping right, right out of the. Well, that one went through pretty good, but there were a number of them that that were uh, pretty gnarly. There's a big old John Deere. Didn't even look what the price tag was of that thing. A lot. Just checking out skid steers. My case uh, had a motor, motor went out on it and uh, trying to decide yet what, what I want to do to fix it it's pretty much the cost of what it's worth so I don't know kind of hard to invest that kind of money and then you know just uh, it's still worth what it is but when you run into situations like that that's kind of what you got to deal with I think we all have uh, had them situations so This ASR machine that I was just looking at there, I don't know a lot about them. They're actually made right uh, right in Grand Rapids, uh, Minnesota. That's only about an hour south of me. They did have a huge, uh, huge. Uh, what am I trying to say here? 
selection of uh, cat skid steers. I think this was the only one that they had available. Um, this is not a big show at all. Um, let's see here. I think we're going to have Wolf Ridge. I stopped in and talked to them guys and I talked to the guys from Brute Force. Um, this, this is their entry level processor that uh, they're running right here that we're showing you. They run a 12 foot conveyor uh, on the back side hauling the wood out and uh, you know it it's a pretty nice little processor actually. Um, it's got a live deck on it. Um, not a huge live deck because it's not a great big machine. It's supposed to be able to split up to 18 inches in diameter and uh, you know what? You know that's a pretty good sized log. And this is a bigger machine that must be able to split up to 18 inches in diameter and uh, you know what? You know that's a pretty good sized log. And this is a bigger machine that they had on display, uh, 1824. Um, I don't know if you'll see it, but I was I was trying to catch my wife on the back side of the of the machine and I forgot I'm walking by and I walked right into the right into the chaff of the saw. But that was my own fault. Got it in my pockets. Got pretty dirty actually. Hey guys, the n and n trailer here that this wood is dumping into, that is actually my trailer and I borrowed it to my neighbor Troy, who is the uncle of the uh, brute force uh, guys that are uh, displaying the equipment. And this uh, kind of concludes what we had in the show. It's not a long, long video, but uh, it was fun to fun to go and see some of this stuff. Really nice to go to some place that it's within an hour of your uh, home. Uh, most of the time we're going to you know the other areas. My gosh, some of them are 14 hours, 16 hours away, 18 hours away in some cases. But anyway, um, we'll let you go at that. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.